last Friday, San Diego State soccer team, the men, beat the number one ranked team in the country. And when I tell you who it is, you're going to be like, really? They have the best soccer team in the country or had? Yeah. Akron. <laughs> the Akron Zips were the number one ranked soccer team in men's soccer. And they came out here to San Diego State, and the Aztecs beat them in a penalty kick late in the game. And not only that, but then the Aztecs goalkeeper made, from what I'm reading about, a spectacular save very late in the game. So here is the goalkeeper, Adam, and I hope I'm saying your last name right. Why don't you say it? Uh, Almeris. Okay, I don't know that he's on. I don't, I don't hear his headphones. I don't, hear his, I don't hear his microphone. Try one more time. Nope, zero. Almeris. Got nothing. Got nothing. Oh, All right. And, and also, the guy, the, what? No, we just had him. We just had him. We just had him. Wait, do we get him back now? You got me here? Yeah, yeah. now we got you. Oh, I can hear myself. All right, Adam Almeris <laughs> is the goalkeeper on the San Diego State soccer team. And Travis Nicklaw is the guy who scored the game-winning goal. Good to see both of you guys. Good to have good to and congratulations, yeah. man. That's Thank huge you. stuff. It is good to have. Yeah, huge it stuff. Big. It was big for the, for the program. All right, yeah. So, so okay, so you're, you're the goalkeeper, Adam, right? Yes. And a local kid, played at La Costa Canyon High. And, and you're also local, right? Yep. Travis, University City High? Yes, sir. Okay. So from the goalkeeper's perspective, you're back there. You get to see everything. Tell us what happened in this game against Akron. Well, um, initially we had the game plan of going and impressing them because – that was our way of beating them, and that's what our coaches uh, put in for the week of practice. And, you know, we were – I think we dominated the game through and through, and I didn't think really think they expected that. And we played like we were the number one team in the country. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of funny because me and Travis used to play together. He used to, uh, he used to be in the back line, and now he's a forward. <laughs> and I like him at both positions, but I think I'm like him at forward now. Yeah, what? Well, you used to be a defender? <laughs> yeah, I used to play center back for uh, the old Aztecs back yeah. in uh, my freshman, sophomore year, and then a little bit of my junior year. And then towards the end of the season of my junior year, Coach just threw me up top, scored some goals, and then never looked back. <laughs> were you a goal scorer? Were you a finisher when you were playing high school or club soccer? Uh, I had my fair share of goals, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it was, wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. At all. He's being <laughs> humble. He plays forward for the Guamanian national team as well. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I do play for the Guam national team, and then uh, we recently played in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers, and fortunately we didn't make it to the next round, but we played a couple good teams. We played uh, Iran, who was number one in Asia. How, how tough is it to balance the schoolwork and, and the, the soccer? It's extremely tough. Got to be. Oh, it's please. <laughs> what do you mean, no, please? <laughs> Give me a break. God, no, he's getting an education. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> you, I, fi- I found my ways around stuff. But, yeah. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, I had, I had a lot of work to do. You bet. It. All right, so we've got Adam Elmaris, the goalkeeper for San Diego State's men's soccer team, and Travis Nicklaw there uh, forward. So you scored the game-winning goal. Tell us about – what happened? Um, how I can remember it, uh, I believe uh, Winston Sorheights had the ball on the outside, and then there was a couple of passes that, here and there. And then uh, it, he went down the line, crossed it, it went off a defender, and uh, Tom Vandenberg actually got the ball, touched it by a, a defender, and then went, went dribbled down to the box to the byline. And then the right back just came in super clumsy, caught him from behind, and then he got a PK for us. Okay, so wait, so why are you the guy who takes the PK? Uh Honestly, that was the first PK I ever took for San Diego State, and then. Um, but what did you say? Hey, I want the PK, or does the coach say, "Hey, you take it"? How, who, how does that happen? At that point, it was uh, there was two other guys, Pablo Police and uh, Mike Sowers, who were there. We were all talking, and then they were like, "If he's like, you guys feel confident? Who's feel confident?" I was like, "I, I feel pretty confident for taking this." And then they're Adam, like, right. you didn't want to take the the shot. <laughs> uh, you know, I think about it, his but, way, his oh. mic's off again, dude. <laughs> Alex, a little help here. Um, yeah, his mic. Something's going on with his microphone. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, oh, you keep messing with it. Why are you messing with our equipment, he dog? Seems to find a way no, you are. You're breaking else. our stuff. You broke our equipment. <laughs> you absolutely broke it. No, got nothing. No. So, so you take the PK. Yeah. And right footed, left footed. Right footed. Okay. And where'd you put it? Uh, right side, keeper's left side. Okay. And so you have a one nothing lead at about what time in the game? Uh, I believe it was the. 60th, 61st minute. 61st minute. Okay, yeah. so you guys got a one nothing lead, but there's still plenty of time. And and apparently Akron makes this run, and, and Adam, you've got to make, from what I've read, a pretty spectacular shape. Tell us what happened. Uh, well, it was a cross. Well, corner kick. It was a corner was kick. Work? Yeah, it was a corner so, kick. Yeah. And uh, I just see this center back, this big guy, jump up over all of my defenders, and I just got back on my line. I was like, all right, this is, this is let's see where it goes. And um, – he headed it down. He actually headed it over one of my players. And so it was like in a sticky situation. And so I just decided to fully lay out and parry it wide so no one else could touch it. 79th minute. 
Yeah, 79th minute. Yeah. It was go time. Was that your first save of the game, too? Uh, no, I had a couple other ones, but Second they weren't save. significant as that one. That yeah. was a big-time one. And so what? What ha- if, if, if the Aztec basketball team was at home uh-huh. and they played Duke mm-hmm. and Duke was number one or Kansas – yeah. Right. Or Akron, for that matter. And they won the game. The students and the whole court, everybody would storm the floor. Right. Yeah. If the football team were playing Penn State, mm-hmm. they would and they won the game. In theory, people might rush the field and tear down the goalposts. Maybe not at Qualcomm, but at other places. Right. <laughs> right? Oh, big time. Okay. Big right. Because they, they might not get new goalposts at Qualcomm. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> but, 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 but what happened after you guys shocked and upset? The number one team in the country. What happened? Uh, I was at the other end from the uh, student section, and everyone just erupted. I immediately ran to my uh, one of my best friends on the team, a roommate and a captain, my left back, and he just turned around to me, and he gave me a big hug. And then we see the student section storming the crowd, and the next thing I know, we're all just jumping up and down, and we're all hugging because it was all of our best friends in the student section too, which made it even better. Is there a, is there a significant crowd at men's soccer game here? Uh, you know, the Lax girls always get out and support us. They're our main fans, and then obviously <laughs> friends and family, and then. Um, so the Lax girls like the soccer boys. Well, you know, it's a, it's definitely a mutual connection. Uh, that. Really, they're great girls. We get along. We support them. They support us, and. It works out good. All right. Well, yeah. and, and so what's happened to the San Diego State soccer team since the big upset of the number one team in the country? Uh, you know, we've started doing things like this. We got some. Uh, all of a sudden, media. the media is paying yeah, a little more attention to you guys. The media pays a little right. more attention. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> okay. No, but other than that, you know, just. Were uh, you guys ranked when you played them? We were ranked 23rd. Okay, yeah, and where probably. are you ranked now? We're ranked ninth in the country now. Damn right you are. Yeah, damn right, <laughs> right. as well. And, and what is, how do you, because I, I don't know anything about college soccer, how do you get to the. I don't know, the, the championship, the, the final the four. Tournament. Yeah, the tournament. The tournament. So it's based on RPI points, and mm-hmm. it depends on who you play, how they're doing, and whether you beat or lose them. And that determines how many points you jump in the RPI, and then you get the top 64, I believe, going to the tournament. Yeah. And then from there, it gets you tournament play. Gotcha. So how do you guys, you know, it's not like winning the conference, because you yeah. guys actually play Pac-12 soccer, yeah, right? Yes, you guys do. don't play Mountain West uh, soccer. If you, if you do win, is there Mountain West soccer? I don't no, even know. If you do win your conference, conference, you're automatically a bid for the NCAA tournament. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so who's the top team? I mean, are you guys the top ranked team in the Pac-12? Well, uh, no. Okay, so Stanford, UCLA have been the top two teams, and Washington top three for the past couple of years, and us and Oregon State have been fighting. The problem is the last three years, the Pac-12 has been arguably the best conference in the nation. I mean, we've I had say. top every almost all the teams are in the top twenty-five at some point yeah. with, with during the season. So it's it's tough to win our. When you have Stanford, Pac-12. who won the national yeah. championship last last year. Stuck. When do you guys play Stanford? We play Stanford. I have that right here. You guys play them here and there, or yes? Yeah, okay. So we play Stanford, uh, Washington, Cal, uh, Oregon State. And UCLA all at home and all away. Yeah. Wait, when's it? When do you guys play Stanford at home? Because that's the game that we ought to all be hyping. Like, hey, these guys knocked off the number one team in the country. Now they're playing the defending national champions. Oh, big time! I mean, dude, this should be a big deal. Yeah, exactly. And we, we promote our games through our Instagram and stuff. But you know, the media can help us out by promoting these games as well. <laughs> what, uh, we, play, we play them October twentieth. October twentieth. What day of the week is that? Uh, Anybody know? Oof. 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 Anybody uh, got their calendar <laughs> out? October. I want to come. I want to hype it. Yeah, I mean, Thursday. Thursday. Time's the game. 7 p.m. 7, 7 o'clock. PM. Yeah. All right. Let's you do know, that. You guys can come out uh, this Friday and then uh, Sunday if you want. And we play uh, Rio Grande Valley on yeah. Friday at 7 p.m. No. And then we play Memphis on Sunday. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm, hey, not coming, I'm not coming to see Rio Grande Valley. I'm coming to see you guys knock off Stanford. Every, 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 every game counts. Yeah, every it may count to you guys, but not to me, man. I'm yeah. an event guy. I mean, I come out for the big ones. You and know we need you for UCLA as well. They're technically our rival in the uh, when's Pac-12. That? When's that game? UCLA. Uh, this is all our schedule right here. Okay, we well, shared one and one with them last year. It was a it was a good battle. We play UCLA, UCLA October eighth, and then and then November eleventh. Yeah, you're there. All right. Well, hey guys, congratulations, Adam Almaris, the goalkeeper, Travis Nicklaw, the forward. This guy scored the game winning goal. This guy made the game winning save, and the Aztecs soccer team did something that no team has ever done ever here in San Diego State sports history. They knocked off a number one ranked team in the country. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank yeah, you it's great to well. be with you guys.